Ooh, dinner. Cordova believed the key to the vault is on Dathomir. You find your Wookiee? Yep. Things are bad down there. Empires everywhere. Inquisitors? Altrilla, the second sister, is gone for now, but she's still chasing us. I defeated the ninth sister. <laughs> That's a lot of salt. Cal, when I was captured by the Empire, I resisted. I swore to myself that I would die before I would talk. But then this dark shadow came. And he was worse than any nightmare I could have imagined. And I still fought. But in the end, I came apart. And I gave them Trilla. And I know there's nothing I can do to make that right. But Cal, there's still a chance we can save the others on the holocron. Okay, look. The Ninth Sister said something about becoming an Inquisitor, like, like it's inevitable. But you went through the same thing she did, and you didn't join them. Cal. It's okay, Seer. We'll find Cordova's holocron. Hey! Get your lasers off my lunch! He's just concerned for your health, Greek. Is his name that? Greek, um, isn't it? Uh, it's been Later, such a long Cal. time since we played. Please. He was clearly putting way too much sodium on his a little busy. Grease. 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 Did you see how Grease was just shaking salt yeah, that was some onto hella his steak? Salt. I, I was just imagining BD going. Great, you know, it's not the origin tree or anything, but it does a job. I like what you did with the branches. Huh, thanks, kid. You know, you're all right. The amount of sodium your meat is currently being coated with is so, going to... What? Huh? Apparently it's nutrients powder. Nutrient powder? Next? Yep. Okay. So... This at, wouldn't want to cause too much hypertension. At this point, we could go back to Bagano and open everything. I believe. Now, the dark shadow she was referring to is probably Vader. You think? Probably. I decide how much I care. I don't really. You don't want to go to Bagano? No, we're going to Dathomir. Ah. Uh, I, I suppose that's the next logical yeah. step. We're going back to Bagano to, to open the vault anyway. Mm hmm. This Cordova guy is really putting some wear and tear on my ship. He always wanted to explore the whole galaxy. And did you? We explored many planets. Tombs and temples related to the Zepho and Jedi. But I hit a limit. To him, there was no limit. The poor crazy old guy was left alone. He was always alone, even when I was with him. He cared about his work and the future more than anything else. He didn't have the time. He was always on the move. Magana was the first place I ever saw that looked like he settled. Even for a brief moment. We're about to drop out of hyperspace. Sit down. Oh! Just the faces. Yeah. Oh. On the ship, indoors, I got walls, I got Jedi, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hold up. What? Some of these doors are still locked. You've come a long way since Bracca, but the path is far from over. I want you to know the difficult challenges ahead. I can handle it. I know what you can do. I'm not denying that. And I know what has to be done. I've done it before. Cal, even the strongest of Jedi. I'm not Trilla. I'll be fine. I know you're not. I didn't say that. I'm not asking you to say anything. It's okay, Seer. Really. Just be safe, Cal. That's all. Uh, 
Oh. What? Still outside your reach. No! <sighs> well, alright, whatever. Not Those plants must be do. quite rigid for you to grasp onto them. Yeah, without even moving in his hands. Mm-hmm. I'm still Love disappointed tap. that these are akin to Rancor, but they're just much smaller versions. Ow. Ow. Great, you felled him. Oh, I did. Got me on the way down, though. Ooh. Oh, right. You never did open that. Yeah, we still don't have... Oh, the acid spitters. The other ones are up above. Oh! Can you destroy those vines now? These? No. These vines are lightsaber proof. Mm hmm. I just didn't know if there was a flame or something else. Maybe I know how to get in there. We'll see. Hmm? You're not climbing up a thorn, are you? I think I jump. Uh oh, a spitter. It's okay. Well, it missed. Accuracy. I love the bioluminescence on these. He's bad. You can see a glimpse of them on the exterior, but mm -hmm. the foliage is. But yeah, red. when it's actually in shadow, it's like yeah, this this looks pretty nice. That they do. They pop like bad sausages. Oh, we can get up there now. Mm hmm Man, this level felt a lot longer the first time I came through here. Also, I... no, I'm not getting over there. Mm-hmm. Wait. Or am I? What is that? Elevator. I think. You have to move that push. There or you go. Less elevator, more box. It's a cage of some sort. Can we look to the right of the chamber before you drop down? Just a lot of pots by the looks of it. Ah. do not look like there's anything up there. Really? No, yeah. I suppose you can't reach it. What did that really afford you? You're on the same... There had to have been more to that. Mm, you're right. Oh, yeah, look. There's a climbing platform. I do for that one. Uh, let's see. Is there an easier way to get back up? Oh, yeah, so there is. I forget I let I cut down this rope a long oh, time yeah, ago. Oh yeah, that you did. Wait, how did you just slide? Oh, it's I, a pulley you know, system. No Jedi, Jedi Force rope magic. I used use rope. Oh, you know what? Freaking duh. Okay, so you get there, but where do you need to move the box to jump up to? Something down the hall? Ah, right there, actually. Puzzles. Let's see, I think there's more force. Yep. Maximum oh, no. life? Max life. An outsider not from this planet. 
Seeing all the sand makes me want to vacuum it all up. An outsider was here, not a night brother. Sense something familiar. Weep. Well, there's that mysterious wanderer. Yeah, whose face really, honestly, seriously reminds me of Obi Wan Kenobi. It's not gonna be him. He's not leaving Tatooine. He just has a very Ewan McGregor looking face. Have you seen Ewan McGregor in a while? No. <laughs> nah, he looked a little gaunt. Where is your skill? You cannot break me. Just you and me, then. I know when we came here first, everybody was like, "Man, you know." Going here first is insane. It's like, nah, these guys are actually good good practice for the rest of the game. Okay, so we got a door on the left. Uh here. I don't think we can open up yet. Yeah, it's locked from the other side. Well. Uh we'll have to find another way in. Can we let's go around? That's always the first step. But it looks like it isn't accessible from this side. Screw you, pottery. You never did anything nice for me anyway. Yeah. There is a rock face and a whole ledge. I don't know. We'll make progress. We can come back to it later. Okay, and I have two skill points. Uh, let's see, double-bladed lightsaber in an area. Switching weapons, max life increased. Precision evade might not be a terrible idea. Wait, there's one where Cal can hold enemies? Yeah. Holding pull, pull and hold most enemies. Large enemies can be yanked. Mm. Cal, so it's just a stronger... Yeah. We get precision evade. Anything that generates force without hitting enemies is actually really, really helpful. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, any way that makes... Well, that there's, there's that down there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are 100% going down. But not from here. No. Trespasser, down there! He flees! Okay. Help me, brothers. My blows will find you. I won't fail you. There brothers. we go. I got better at fighting these guys. Ah! Ow, mostly. <laughs> Dodged prematurely, but still. I got better at fighting them, it just took took time. Okay. We can just skip everything. Oh, the weird dude's still here. He is. Here, we can talk with him again. Take care on your journey, traveler. He just doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't really seem like it. No. Yeah. No, you're probably right. Oh, that was weird. Oh, look. More burial pods. Them all. Huh. Sure you will. 
kind of wish I could have one of those bows. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold up. Looks you climbable, can... but not without equipment. Ah! Die! Another surfing segment! <laughs> we. Oh, didn't you hear the night, brother? It's the dying segment. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, you almost did there. Ah, uh, you're... Wow. Hey. Can't believe we made it. <laughs> you sure know how to have fun. Wasn't... Was there anything down there? Nope. Nothing behind that rock? Nope. Can't go back there. That is... Okay. Bonafide and passable. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just thought it'd be good to check, just in case there was a box. Bona fide impossible. That's not Spanish. Uh? No. Oh. That's a rope. A rope. Whoop! Whoop! Uh, Cal? Of course you'd manage to let go of it. That's mean. I think it's happened a couple times yeah. in the last hour. Well, because it takes, like, it takes a little bit for him to actually magnetize the rope. Mm hmm He does tend to magnetize. That was kind of mean. Do you want me to be mean to you when I'm backseat gaming? Because of course you managed to, to let go of it. Ow. You get to browbeat me for saying things? Well, no, 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 no. I'm just thinking... Uh... You will go no further. Stand aside. No. He was right about you. Who? What? Jedi are thieves and selfish liars who bring nothing but death. Back off. If you attack me again, I'll strike you down. Oh, I won't do a thing. But my murdered sisters... They will have their revenge. <sighs> oh, sweet Zambonis. I, yeah, they. They did have this. Back when the Night Sisters were murdered, they were brought back as these ghoulish zombies. <laughs> Undead Night Sister. Relentless, able to leap, and highly aggressive against their targets. Attack in swarms, avoid becoming surrounded. Few have seen an undead Night Sister and survived. It is believed these mummified warriors emerge from the burial pods of ancient Night Sister graveyards and on foul eaves are under command of a witch's incantation. They are known to be hostile to all life except their Night Sister masters. Upon sight of their prey, they release a piercing scream, calling all nearby undead. They. Oh, sorry. They attack in frenzied swarms, clawing and biting their way through flesh. Fat fingered that one. What the? Oh, uh. that works. Oh, I got it. More undead. This is where the double lightsaber really comes in handy. Mm-hmm. I was wondering about that, because the rest place. of the... The rest of the game didn't really feel balanced around the existence of it. There are a couple of points where it was useful, but here's the first time where it actually seems like they made enemies that necessitated the use of it. Huh, you're going beyond that door, or a door. Looks like there's something to pull down to the right. There might be something to the left. Can you just look for a moment? Left. Nah, it's just bridge. Nope, oh, zombies! Ah! 
What are you looking for? There's just the map got kind of murky here. Well, just enjoy the environment. And see to, what I was trying to understand. Oh, there's a zombie. Yeah, there's another one out there. It's supposed to be hopping down to come after me, but uh you will pay for their death. Well, I wonder why she's blaming the Jedi when it was Dooku and How does that Grievous. Night sister keep following us. Seer <laughs> called them force wielders. And I've never seen it used this way before. We better stay on our toes. Wait, do you have toes? <laughs> Any idea what that flying creature is? Well, let's hope we don't find out. It's the unfriendly version of the... Shio? Yep. Yeah, that looks like a giant bat. That's your... All right. Are they referring to the giant beast? Oh. Shortcut. Oh, I was hoping we see what was up there, but shortcut. Yep, there you go. Huh? There was something in there. Shortcut shell. Okay, just didn't. Ah. Bugs. There are just more pots and things in the room. Yeah. But I always open up shortcuts first. Mm-hmm. And then these pots are nothing. Yeah, I I suppose Literally I'm, nothing. I'm conditioned by other games that they have some kind of currency or yeah, resources, but there's, but there's nothing in these. Were there Night Brothers? The Night Sisters thought they were useless. Uh, depends on which cannon you're working with, but the Knight Brothers seem to be more kind of grunts than anything else. Well, the the Witches of Dathomir were always akin to an Amazonian society, where there were the matriarchs and the clans, and the females ruled, and the men were... Knight Brother runes. I think we're getting close to a village. And the males were essentially just, as he said grunts or breeding stock but they had retconned it so that more recently as of the animated clone wars series that male Eridonians are the night brothers as opposed to humans originally all of the dathomiri were an offshoot of humans that had lived on dathomir and that the first among them was alia this ancient jedi who had been banished but, yeah, they started all the clans, and other people that happened to crash land on their world were added to their clans or interbred with them. But in this, they have it that Iridonians, or otherwise known as Zabrak, are the other component to the species, and that they're a, like a human-Zabrak hybrid, and the females are pale and have markings, and then the males are akin to what Darth Maul is, and they... Yeah, they made Darth Maul one of the Knight Brothers. But yeah, for the most part, they're subservient to the Knight Sisters. Oh. Mm. Oh. The Knight Brothers, Death Mirroring Glyphs. Knight Brothers paint glyphs using acid from the Hydratus. Rather than staining the surface, the acid burns into even the hardest rock faces, leaving permanent marks. Each symbol must be carefully drawn to preserve the accuracy to preserve accuracy and avoid damage to oneself master calligraphers are rare and extremely valued for their talents he shakes in fear Keep on him 
People are comparing them to Drow. Well, I, as the earliest examples would be the Amazons from Greek mythology. Sort of the female warrior race. It wouldn't be necessarily a warrior race, but the female warrior clan that only very rarely interacts with males and only to procreate. But it seems like in this they have incorporated them into their society to an extent. They also have that what other are all Jedi so weak? There's also the Gerudo, if you think back to Zelda. What are other versions of the female warrior clans in fiction that you've read or seen? Uh you brought up the Asari, yeah? Oh, but the Asari are peculiar in that they aren't necessarily they, female in the human sense. They look it. I mean, but they've got all of the features apart from Well, yeah, I guess that's a good point. I'm generalizing too hard. Mhm. Mm but yeah, for for the sake of aesthetic, they are essentially uh, a female. Well, they're like more like an empath race as opposed to well, I suppose they had decent warriors too. I suppose there are all fem female clans in fiction that are witches and sorceresses and, and traditional Amazonian warrioresses, but yeah, pretty much all female clans. I know witches are often... <laughs> the Wanderer. Someone was hunted here. Yeah, so we're we're tracking the bearded dude that we saw earlier. Huh, he got ahead of us somehow? Or I maybe wish... this is his original journey through. Yeah, potentially. I mean he could even be like force ghosting us. Ooh. Interesting. Someone brings up that they could camouflage. Yeah, I thought I remember something on the lines of there was like a Turian and a oh a Salarian and maybe a what, what was Rex's race? The Krogan? Yeah. And they were all discussing Asari and they're like no she looks like my kind. No she looks like my kind. And there's the implication that Asari might not even look the way they do to to other species. Oh, that's interesting. That they might... They're, they were just extra sexy to... Well, so they took on very human features to appeal to humans, and because you only ever see through Shepard's point of view, they that would be human. Uh, until Andromeda. And then you have... Uh... But Andromeda you're playing as humans. Yeah, but like... Oh, but you have the, in the multiplayer, you have the option to play as Asari or other races. Well, not just that, though. Like, you'd think if they could customize their appearance to look like, uh, look like they do to humans. Ah, uh, they probably don't want to have to remodel that. Who knows? Spider domestication. Night Brothers only recently began efforts to domesticate the Baneback Spider. Without the Night Sister's magical anti-venoms, the task has occasionally proven deadly. However, if a spider is captured young and raised alongside a Night Brother, it will bond with him and become a lasting companion. Interesting. I guess I was gonna say, like, uh, you'd almost think the, uh, the Asari... Uh, hmm? oh. Aha! There we go. You'd almost think the Asari would actually customize their appearance specifically to person. Like, how wild of a tw twist would that have been to have Mass Effect Andromeda come along mm -hmm. and the Asari look completely different? I know they wouldn't have done that for a lot of different reasons, but that would have been so cool. Mm-hmm. The 
interloper is more powerful than us. Lay down your weapons. We must submit. Submitting to the interloper as in the wanderer? Yeah, That's possibly. been a popular word as of late. Interloper. Interloper, uh. interloper, interloper. <laughs> Turn back, Jedi. Ooh, Rancor fight? Or something else? Nah. Uh, mm, it's a pit. Do it it's a pit. Oh, uh, that's not a rancor. I want a rancor. <laughs> no, he hit against the foliage. Okay. Nice job, Chuckles. Oh, you have force speed? Uh, no, I got force slow. Ah. I was always used to having force speed so this that you're speeding yourself up. This makes way more sense. Oh, but here's the pit. The lair of the Nidak. The, the lesser Nidak is a feared opponent for Night Brothers. Though legend says some Night Sisters kept them as familiars, Nidaks are solitary creatures rarely seen in packs after adolescence. Their only natural predator is the massive Gargara. Gorgara is probably the big flying thing. The big, yep. Sacrifices to set an example. Mmm. But who's doing this to the Night Brothers? Night is Sisters? It, is or it, other Night Brothers? Unless it's the interloper. Could have been. It could be that the Wanderer is kind of the uh, their current leader. Why um, was he just casually standing out there on the bridge? Well, because he knew we wouldn't attack them. Mm-hmm. I'm not entirely sure. It was a bit weird. Mm-hmm. So how are we doing? Eh. Where is yet? This must be where the Night Brothers live. Through there? Not unless we have no other choice. Yeah, that figures. <laughs> I will strike you! I think you missed every time. Or I paired him every time. I don't know. Tomato, potato, tomato. Oh, no one there. Oh, there's a gate. It's the outsider. He's lowered the bridge. Take him out! I passed by the gate. Struck the Jedi. We. I can't imagine just sliding down into an unknown cavern. But how? What? How would you know that the other side is safe? Also, this is interesting. I like seeing more of this biome. Yeah, this is cool. This is the lower swamp. Reds and purples and greens. Ooh, yeah. Mushrooms. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, he's scanning one of those big horror things. Brula fruit. Common reagent. Is he getting off? No. Oh, sorry. It... I've actually read that one. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Yeah, it would be under flora and fauna, probably. Yeah, the brulee fruit. Brulee fruit was a common reagent in Night Sister potions. In small doses, its nectar could act as an anti-venom to the bites of Dathmere's many poisonous snakes. Overconsumption, however, resulted in symptoms of swamp madness, convulsions, blurred vision, and hallucinations. I thought they were going to list more creatures than just snakes. So when the sentence ended with snakes, I was like, oh. Okay, I thought they also meant the spiders, among other things. Okay. 